my theme was expressions and suggestions of the human experience. So my process has always been very experimental. Um, I switch between what I want to do every day almost. I like seeing people's reactions to my work as well because that's what it's about mainly. I began looking more at sculpture and then I did loads of videos, mainly underwater because I like the fluidity and the rhythm that that creates. Um, but as I say, I, I also take inspiration from Pipilotti Wrist and she has a lot of saturated videos and I like the colour element in that. Um, I also worked with hair and human elements again um, and I like the way that that moved through the water so from then I've progressed to actually creating an installation from the videos. Um, I like the idea of suspending things from the ceiling and I've been working with that a lot especially when setting up my installation um, and I've also been using Eva Hess's idea of using banal materials and transforming them so I work a lot with mesh at the moment and I like the way that the light and the projection works on the material. What I like about my work is that you can fully immerse yourself in it. So whether that be the sound, the touch of the sort of material, um, the colour from the projection. And I aim to allow my installation to be one that you can go into and look up and look around and you have to move through the space um, and that's what I like about it. My theme is based on distortion and motion and movement because I do a lot of self-portraits so I use myself as sort of the subject. The way that you perceive things and perspectives and uh, materials to work with changing the face. The process and how that affects distortion. circumstances in which you're drawing actually change the work itself. I've looked a lot at Marlene DeMar and Dryden Goodwin, um, both look at the process and how that actively distorts their work. Um, Dryden Goodwin talks about how the process of looking actually distorts trying to get the detail crops but still distorting it so I'll build up the layers. For the movement like I take a lot of photos and um, motion capture and draw from that and then paint from that and it's all inspired to a series of steps. I'm really pleased with my project and how it's turned out from sort of many small drawings and looking at ink and using a lot of watercolour to making quite big paintings and I actually think that yeah I've captured distortion in um, a movement in, in, a, in an interesting way.
I started off looking at sort of the human relationship with space and how architecture is kind of a starting point for that. The point where deeper human elements can be drawn out from. How we interact with the space, how we move through a space, how memories are connected to space and sort of bringing that all together. I was mainly looking at Gordon Clark, um, Doho Su, Rachel White Reed, looking at artists that um, really document space well in like different mediums. Gordon Clark would look at quite literal like deconstruction of space and um, taking that apart and rearranging it again. And then Rachel White Reed, sort of looking at casting space, interior, exterior, like 3D physical representations of the human relationship with space. I don't really have a plan when I work. I sort of look at a lot of different things at the same time. Like I would cast whilst I was mono printing or um, working on an animation um, and like hanging things up, looking at how they fit in a space, um, just doing a bit of everything at the same time. Sort of just so I could really see how it all comes together instead of working on individual pieces. When I'm putting stuff together and thinking about the space and how I can create an installation, I'm thinking about like um, how I can represent my own memories of domestic interiors and the idea of home and having sort of like an area where it can be fragmented sort of like elements of the space and like um, your memories to it. Fabric and how um, that can sort of like translate memories of space and like the fragility of memory. Representing my own experiences of this space and like my own memories and it being um, the focal point of it being like my home. And I like creating the like atmosphere with the sound and the animation and how you get a lot of the context of it as well. They sort of get to walk around my mind in a way and really like understand the space that I move through every day and interact with and how that translates into my personal relationship with the space.